Okay, I did it. I got the viral foundation. Let's see how it works on mature skin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I cracked. I cracked. I got this viral foundation that has been all over TikTok. I actually just watched Tati's video. You did it. You influenced me. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, like legit, I watched Tati and I ordered this midnight, like after midnight. I got up at 7.30, it was at my door. Thank you, Amazon. So this is the new Tear Tear. Is that how you pronounce it? Tear Tear? Tear Tear Foundation. It's a cushion foundation. I have seen it all over TikTok. I have seen some of the YouTubers that I follow use it, and I'm like, fine, let me try it. I used to wear a cushion foundation years ago. I'm talking years ago, and I want to say it was probably from... Maybelline, I, I can't remember it. If I if I remember which brand it was, I will leave it linked below. But um haven't used it since. So like I said, I did watch Tati the other night. Alright, fine. I looked it up, I read up on it, I ordered it. Like I said, liquid split, it was at my door. I did order the 24N latte. No clue, no freaking clue. More so because and I have no idea if this is the right color, but I did go a little bit lighter because I did read some um, reviews and it did say that it oxidizes a lot. I'm not really sure. So I got 24 and latte. No freaking clue. But anyway, let's read up on it. This is a Korean brand product. Um, it says mask shield enriched coverage. Um, adhering cushion coverage keeps makeup fresh for long hours with lightweight powder and skincare substance. On the back of the box, it said that they did um, a trial test for makeup um, in the masks. We're not doing that anymore. I could promise you that. But it says prevent smudging with the mask, 24-hour persistence with mask, blah, 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 20, uh, 72 hours makeup. But then they're like, they're all asterisks. And it says applicable only for 21 and ivory. So I, I don't understand what they, I guess they just tested it with that one color. No clue. But anyway, directions. Take an appropriate amount with the puff and thinly spread on the skin in a gentle tapping motion. I believe this is full coverage. So let's open this little lover up right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so super excited. Uh-huh. Ooh, look how freaking pretty that is, right? That is so slick. I'm a sucker. You know that. I'm a sucker for packaging. You know that. Uh, made in Korea. Mm -hmm. let's, let's just dive right in. Let me just put my hairdo back. I just had it colored. So, you know, you may... And it's so doggone staticky. What in the hell? All right, let me see. Did I get it out of the way? Enough. Yeah, I have my eye makeup on. I will leave everything linked below. I'm so excited. That is slick. All right, let's open this little lever up. There's like a little push button right over here. I'm curious because number one, I haven't used the cushion foundation in years. Ooh, nice, like a compact. I haven't used the cushion foundation in years, number one. Number two, girl, I just did a video on a, on a no makeup makeup look. Now we're going to do full coverage. Go figure. But... Again, the whole premise of this video is, you know, I'd, I'd like to keep my information broad for everybody. I don't know, like, um, how old you are, what kind of skin you have. Do you like full coverage? Do you like a no makeup makeup look? So I try to, like, incorporate everything on this channel. By the way, tell your friends, help a newbie out, subscribe, like, make comments, blah, blah, blah. I would so appreciate your support. Let's dive in. So here you go. It looks like this. Oh, that's so slick. Look at that. Comes with this beautiful cushion very soft by the way i just have some skin moisturizer on and also now that i'm saying skin moisturizer this could be a little bit drying for dry skin because i did read somewhere where the heck did i just read it i don't remember to make sure that your skin is well hydrated and there's got to be some kind of a film oh there it is because i'm looking really blurry in this mirror there you go thank you Oh, hey, beautiful. Okay, cool. So how do you open up this friggin' thing? I guess you just open it like this. Oh, okay. Ew, there you go. Darn, I wish I could remember that. Um, I wish I could remember that doggone company. All the directions are in Korean. Do you see that? 
but I'm going to make an assumption. We stick our finger in here and we pull. Oh, and it says go around. It's, I'm going around like this. Okay, so there you go. You just keep on going around and around and around. Keep on going. And then just pull it up. So this is what 24N latte looks like. Who knows? Man, this sponge feels so good. I hate to mess it up. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna stick my finger in this little ribbon here and this is he's sighing. Excuse me. I'm just pressing. Yep. I'm just pressing it in. To get enough on the sponge. Looks kind of watery, right? Who knows? And uh, yeah. I'm gonna come close and let's see. It's a little yellow. Wow, that's friggin' a lot. Actually, I just I was just watching Rose and Ben, and she puts it on the perimeter. And then she takes one of her brushes and she starts blending it in. I may just do that because I think. This looks like a little bit too much coverage. So I'm gonna take the BK Beauty 106, one of my favorite foundation brushes. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take, that's really yellow. That is not neutral. So I'm gonna just take it and start buffing it in. I'm going to make an assumption that obviously if you use the little sponge that it comes with, it'll give you um, a fuller coverage. Yeah, I don't think I would use the... Um, I don't think I would use the sponge. I just don't like that much product on my face. But it is pretty though. It's very glowy. I'm, I'm wondering, I did read somewhere that it said it was a little bit drying for dry skin, but it looks really glowy, doesn't it? Hmm. Interesting. It does seem to have oxidized a little bit, right? I mean, it still has that yellow tone to it, right? But it's not, like the difference is not as stark as it was before. What I think I'm going to do is I'm looking down here and I did not bring a concealer. I wonder if we could use this as a concealer. P.S. This looks like it's got nothing on it. And it's filled, look at that. It is filled with product. Okie dokes. It is pretty though, right? Hmm. Girl, get between the eyeballs. Yeah, I don't, me personally. Okay, girl? Because like I have been harping these past couple of months, I'm really liking a lighter hand. What I'm really looking for, I mean, it's beautiful. What I'm really looking for is, I doubt it's 72 hours. Is it? Could it be? I don't know. And it says you don't have to set it. Is that what I read? And I'm not usually, you know, I'm, I'm not really a powdery kind of girl in general. So I'm curious to see how long it's going to last and how does it look like does it oxidize as much as people say it says it does? Hmm. Because it would be really nice if it stayed. Whatever I have on my brush, I'm just going to take it down the neck. Okay, so it's not as bad though, right? So it does oxidize. So if you are interested in grabbing this, I think you should go like maybe a shade lighter than your natural, like what you would normally pick. 
Okay, it doesn't look bad at all under the eyes, right? Grooks. Okay, so let's see. What time is it anyway? It's 4.30. Don't mind this up here, okay? It is what it is, girl. She always wants to take it off. I'm like, no, no. It'll come off on its own. Leave it alone. Because, of course, this is the first sight of Grey's. Daggone it. This is really pretty. So what I think I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to just get some powder. I'll do it later. I'm going to get some powder because I just want to powder underneath um, my eyes. It feels very tacky. I don't know how you wouldn't powder it because right now it feels very tacky. It's pretty though. It really did. I mean, it covered enough where I would say like it, you could still see some blemishes here but like I don't like a full coverage so if I wanted to like really cover them I could just probably pat extra look there's still stuff on here you can hardly see anything you're like man it looks like a little bit of powder but look what I just did right you could see it and like over here it's like an everlasting gobstopper there's so much product in here interesting wow it's it's like never ending hmm i like it i have my windows open it's a beautiful day so you're gonna hear everything birds planes trains people car but it's a beautiful day so i'm gonna just stipple that because normally when i use um a regular foundation and i use a brush i stipple like the cheeks and then i work my way down and i buff down here. I'm gonna get my ears. Hmm. I'm gonna come close to you. Shut the cabinet. And it's cute because the uh, cushion goes right back over here. Of course, it's gonna be messy, but you know, we're gonna clean it. Just like everything else, you gotta clean it. I'm gonna come close to you. Let me dim these lights. I wanna dim these lights. I wanna come close to you. So I dim the lights. I wanna come super close. Maybe that's too, too dark, but this is what the foundation looks like. It does oxidize because you saw it was pretty light and pretty yellow beforehand, but I think it looks pretty good now. Don't mind the hives. That looks real pretty. Okay, doke. So let's just finish off the makeup and we'll talk about it when everything is all said and done.
Okay, so my makeup is on. It feels very tacky. So I am gonna go grab a powder. I think maybe I'll do a loose powder all over, but I'm definitely gonna set um, underneath. You know what? I'll I'll wear a loose powder. I'll just wanna I just wanna use like a puff underneath and maybe just like a like a fluffy brush for the rest of the face. I'll be right back. Anyway, so I grabbed um, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Powder. I think I'm gonna use that for underneath the eyes. I mean, it's not creasing. It's just a little shiny, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna grab my little puff. These are just little puffs that I picked up on Amazon. I'm gonna just grab the tip of it and then just make sure it seeps into the puff. I just press it on my hand and yeah i mean just that tiny bit look at the difference between it being set and not and i love this powder it really is a beautiful brightening powder that's pretty mm -hmm. just use my puff and then just on the t-zone let me just and i think it's still very, very tacky. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty and I just grabbed like this brush from BK Beauty. This is their 108 because I just want it really lightly. Or should I grab a bigger one? Hmm, I'll just take that for now. And let's see how that works out. So I'm just swirling, getting powder all over. Cause you know, girl, I'm not a powdery kind of girl. But I think I'm gonna just lightly you see how it's just lightly and i just want to see from here how that feels in comparison yeah no it's still tacky so in my brain how are you gonna last all these hours if you're still tacky you know i'm gonna go hug somebody and see if it comes off and it transfers it is very pretty Oh, curious. I mean, it's still pretty tacky. Still pretty tacky. I just want to put a little bit more blush. I'm going to just use whatever I have left on my tool because I like to put it on the apples of my cheeks. You guys know that. Don't smile if you guys are my age-ish. I just find the apples and I just place my blush on without smiling because you think you're up here and you're cute and then when you don't smile you're down here so I just that is so pretty so so pretty okay let me just take down my hairdo and I have to get different pins because these always pull my hair out okay not bad okie dokes let's just check and assess the situation my god it's so staticky okay that is pretty let me just come close to you guys and you guys let me know what you guys think of the product with full makeup on. I have some thoughts. Number one, I mean, it's beautiful. It is full coverage. I sheared it out with the brush and I still think it's pretty full coverage. Number one, so, and it's nice if you want full coverage. I've been just gearing to a lighter hand lately, but I mean, it's really, really pretty. It covers everything. Minus the hair dye over here, but we're not going to go there. We're not, we're not talking about that girl. Um, I'm curious if it really looks this good, and it does. Does it really stay that long, 72 hours? I would be happy if it just stayed like 10, 12 hours. I'm just curious because if it stayed, this would be great. Like at a party, you're dancing, you're sweating, you're at a wedding. Would it really stay? It's still tacky. I'm out of curiosity. I'm going to just put a little bit more powder just over here just to see if it sets. And I'm going to take it with my puff just for the feel of it. Not so much for, let's see, where should we put it? Let's just put it right here. Oh, hell, let's just put it on this one side. Okay, it's pretty. I mean, it's less it's less tacky, but it's still tacky. You know, I'm curious. So, um, you know, what I'm gonna say next. You know, what I'm gonna say next. I might as well do the whole thing. I will try and check in. Try and check. Try, try and check in. If not, you know, I will have 
information down below i sure will so anyway so that's it let's see here it's 447 let's see i'm curious i'm gonna go hug somebody see if it moves and see listen if it stays it's beautiful it is really really beautiful like in my brain i feel it's heavy only because you know i haven't i haven't worn like full coverage makeup in a long time but girl that's probably just like in my brain because it feels nice and light like the product is light it's amazing how tricky your brain is right i mean the product is very thin let me just show it to you on my fingertips it's really really thin but it feels heavy on my face because it's a full coverage i mean look at that let me just put this down over here so this is what it is this is what 24n looks like like it feels like water it really feels like you have nothing in between yeah that's what it looks like i have it right over here it feels like water but on my face it feels heavy and i think it's in here because it's for full coverage let me think about that as the day progresses i'll see you in a little bit this is what it looks like without like lights on. Well, I do have like my um, <clears throat> they call it an Alex Earl light, but I picked this up when um Jacqueline Hill shared it on one of her Amazon finds a couple years ago. But anyway, I digress. But anyway, I'm standing in front of a window. This is what it looks like. Let me come close to you. It's still very. It's not very, but it is dewy and it is glowy so i think it looks really really pretty on mature skin for now because i did read somewhere that it said you know be careful if you have dry skin but mine is normal whatever normal is you know sometimes in the winter it's dry in the summer it's oily but so far it looks super de duper nice right okay we'll see and by the way it's only like 20 minutes after i put it on but it looks really freaking pretty okay see ya so I am outside in my car. I don't know if you could see that. Um, it's about six o'clock now. So let's see, what time did we put this on? About 4.30, 4.35, so about an hour and a half. I just wanted to see if it was really, um, if it really stayed for 72 hours. Let me show you like right over here. It's still pretty glowy. I have a paper towel over here. I just wanna see if I pat my face, not rubbing, I'm just patting. Like does it transfer? I mean, not really. It's a tiny, if you could see that, like right over here. And that could even be for my lip smacking. Hmm. I like it. It's a little bit cakey, like right over here where I always try to hide that little sunspot. That's the norm for me. My uh, forehead usually cakes up, especially over there, because I always want to put a little bit extra to cover it. But it really is pretty. We'll see. Alrighty, this is me outside. I mean, I feel like I could see a lot of my uh, pores over here that I normally do not see, but it could be me. I'm not sure, but hmm, the jury's still out. Okie dokes, guys. So this is going to be my final check-in. This is a good, this is good lighting. I'm in my daughter's room. Hi, boo-boo boy. Um, I'm on my Ricky skinny, but anyway, I really thought I was going to like this. In the beginning, it was really nice, but... I'm going to come closer. First of all, um, whoever said it was going to be drying, not true. But I will tell you this. You could see, like, every single pore. Like, I know we have pores. I get that. But can you see, like, you could see, like, every, oops, every single pore. And it looks super cakey. I mean, it's a full coverage. I just can't wear full coverage. I just don't like the way it ultimately looks. I didn't powder at all. This is, I mean, I like the finish for me personally. I know a lot of people would absolutely powder this T-zone. Actually, I kind of would too, but I just don't like the way it's sitting. Can you see, like, even up here, you could see where it just accentuates things that I really did not, and you know what's interesting? where we put it over here, like we put extra. Do you see how you could see like all these little dots where like the foundation settled in? So I almost feel like I wanna return this, even though I did get like, um, I had the um, the uh, 
product code, the product code. Oh, I think it's like $23 on Amazon and I got it for like $18.66 or something like that. It was um, a 30% off. I don't know if it's still going to be there. When, I don't even know when this video is going to go up, but I don't think I care for it. I will tell you this, maybe I will try just pressing like a brush in there and doing it that way. Because with the um, <clears throat> with the sponge in there, it's just it just it's just too much product. Darn it! So I'm not really a fan. Sorry. Okay, guys. So that is it. This is my video. Hmm, I'm a little disappointed, but that's okay. Um, if you guys like full coverage, you may like it. Let me know if you guys are going to try it. Leave me some comments below. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys, be good to each other. Love each other and have a great, great day. Bye.